Um, so I remember last time I was incredibly excited to get here, you know, and uh, much like this time, incredibly excited to be here and experience what Israel actually is and what the people actually are. And um, normally I can tell a lot about a place just by the entrance in the airport, right? What kind of people you see that are like the customs officials and security and, you know, the people that drive the bus from the plane to the terminal and you get a feel and, you know, big smiles, welcoming, kindness, and, um, yeah, there's a lot of gratitude in people's eyes just from that little bit. And um, I can't believe the last time that I was here was 2015. So eight years ago. That's, that's mental. Um, yeah, I, I woke up in a really good mood today. And I, I, I woke up excited and um I, I woke up being excited about being here but also about the prospect of what this show can be and um yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to it hey thank you <laughs> uh no <laughs> no, I don't. I probably should, but I'm I'm hideously stuck in the 90s. I I haven't caught up with this day and age, social media, platforms, blah 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 blah. It, it it's you have to be really invested and you have to be kind of addicted to it, like shares, you know. Um, but I'm not. You know, every now and again, I, I kind of like, I should really get involved. But I'm I'm hideously middle-aged. Um, at some point, I will. Uh, but I need, I just need guidance and prodding and being told to do something or else I just don't do it. Um, but so far, I haven't thought about TikTok, musically at least. But um, maybe I should. Well, to be honest with you, I, I think that um, people kind of project their own problems sometimes. And I am a people that projects my own problems sometimes. And um, I, I am now a fully formed entertainer. I'm, I'm really good at what I do now. So um, we should both probably have a good time. And uh, I, had a, I had a great time last time. You know... I think the thing is about coming to a place like Israel, there is such a massive build-up in one's mind about what it is and what it isn't. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a special place that de deserves a special thing to happen, probably more than any other gigs that I do in any other places. So... My expectation level for me as a performer last time was massive. And um, I now actually think that I'm a more rounded entertainer. At the tender age of nearly 50, I think I know what I'm doing now. So um, we shall both experience greatness. <laughs> Thank you. I'm an entertainer, you know, um, and you will understand the show when you see the show. You know, there is, um, yeah, I do have, I do have plenty of hits of my own, but I, I, 
I feel as though my job and my duty is to entertain the crowd whatever way possible in the best way possible. And all I can tell you about this show is that I'm enjoying it more than any show that I've done before just because of how I've set it up. Um, I, I do something that not a lot of people, not a lot of artists do in my show. And you will see when you come to see it. Hey. Um, it feels absolutely insane, to be honest with you. You know, the, the director of the movie is Michael Gracie, and he directed The Greatest Showman. Um, and I, I've been on set. I've been heavily involved with the script and the production of the film. And, um, and um, yeah, it, 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 there's, it's, there's so many feelings towards this film. It's not just this is incredible and I deserve this and this is amazing and it's going to be fantastic. It's sort of like being invited to the best birthday party you could ever wish for and not feeling that you truly deserve it in some way. Um, what we have so far with this movie is absolutely incredible, but there is a million miles between having something in the can and the audience agreeing with you. Yeah, so it's kind of scary. You sort of, once again, in this industry, laying yourself bare and, go, and hoping that um, people don't come and hit you with a shitty stick. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's uh, obviously the back catalogue and a new one. They're really lovely people. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, it's so strange to be, if you can imagine, your, imagine this is your life, right? You go to the studio and sit in a makeup room, having your makeup done, and the person that's playing your father is next to you. The person that's playing your mother is next to you, having the makeup done. And the person that's playing your grandma is having their makeup done. And then your old boy band's wigs are next to Howard Donald's hair, Jason Orange's chin, lots of pictures from your life as you were growing from eight years old to 50. It's a very strange, overwhelming, wonderful, confusing experience. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. No, not necessarily. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a massive Nugget Ares fan, and I'm meeting her tomorrow. We shall see whether she'll be on stage or not. You know, I think Nugger has a lot to do with that, whether she wants to or not yet. We're just going to say hello to her and her partner. And, yeah, I, there's um, seldom in this day and age do people make me feel like a 15 year old again, musically. And Naga makes me feel like a giddy 15 year old, just excited about, you know, it's like when I see her, I want to be her, you know? And when I, I see her perform, I want to perform like that. And when I hear her lyrics and the way she delivers things, I want to write lyrics like that and deliver things like that. I have great respect and uh, I'm in awe of her talent. Um, but, you know, it's not necessarily that we are definitely going to be doing something on stage, but we're definitely saying hello to each other tomorrow, so we shall see. Hello. Hey. I had no idea that I'm here early. Am I here early? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, it was either spend another day... Where were we just? Oh. Well, I could have spent another day in Portugal, I suppose, or... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm looking forward to eating some great food. What do you suggest that I eat this evening? No, 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 no. Full responsibility. Come on. What should I eat? Hummus. I genuinely don't know what to like. I, I want something that's healthy, nutritious, but filling and yummy. Any suggestions from anyone? Okay. Uh, maybe I can neither confirm or deny that this is, it's, uh, it's the worst kept secret uh, about this film, you know. And it, it's so funny because I, I, people have been asking me that question for, for a year and I've been told, don't say anything about the monkey. You say nothing about the monkey. Don't say anything about it. And I'm like, I don't know what to say. And then I did a, an interview with the director of the movie last week. The first question was, so, CGI monkey? And he went, yeah. And I was like, fuck, I've spent a year pretending I don't know. Um, yeah, look, you know, we, we shall see, but there is something to do with the monkey somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't, no. But thank you for knowing that song. Hi. Oh, yes! Yes! So you probably woke up today and watched the beautiful views of somewhere on balcony of the beach. Yeah. Maybe you wish you went to Vegas and could just go for a beach? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I want to go for a walk later on. I want to go for a walk down the the promenade here. And... uh, I was wondering what's the best way to do that. And um, I, 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 it was great when, it wasn't great when COVID was here, but it was great to wear a mask. So I kind of still do that now. I was in Porto and I put a COVID mask on and walked around and people just look at you like, what's this idiot doing? COVID is finished. And it feels embarrassing, but um, at least I get to walk around. So if you see a six-foot man with tattoos later on walking around with a COVID mask, you I've just spoiled it for myself, haven't I, really? Did I have second thoughts coming to Israel? Did something bother me? No, no. We had the tickets all sorted out. You know, my bags were packed really well. Um, I'm not scared of flying. Um, I, I, uh, no, no, nothing bothers me. I'm 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 afraid to be part of a narrative. I'm afraid to be used as part of a narrative for um, nefarious purposes. It annoys me because... You can't say, you can't say anything because, you know, there are two sides with two narratives. And um, my answer is, I'm here. I'm here to perform for the people. Um, That's my answer. In body, in soul, in spirit, I'm right in front of you. And I'm very happy to be here. Yes, I know, you know, because I was delusional, uh, delusional enough to think that I may have a career in music and my delusions met reality. Um, but um, back 25 years ago, I didn't even know what I was doing the next day or, the ev- or that evening, you know. I, it was definitely one day at a time, as it were. So um, to be sat here as a... One year away from being 50, I just feel 
incredibly blessed and incredibly lucky that I, I get to do the job that I do. And um, yeah, it's, it's incredibly warming that um, people want to see me. I was on stage the other night in Porto and it really struck me beaming smiling faces looking at you with warmth is incredibly beautiful and intoxicating and um, when you're young you know you can miss that or take that for granted um, but I don't these days you know I I feel the warmth of the audience and it's very needed for somebody as brittle and as sensitive as me to have that affirmation and um, I get it in abundance so um, no I didn't think that because I wasn't contemplating 25 years in the future but 25 years in the future right now I, I love my audience I, I love what I get to do and I'm very grateful yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you.